Okay, this is, the two parts are held together by a few screws, and they should, or not screws, clips, and they should be able to come apart. Uh, you should be pretty careful. Don't try to yank at all, just ease at it a little. And I am almost done. Also, uh, excuse my sickness. Clogged nose a little bit. Okay, well, there are a few small connector cables we have to release, and those are located uh, right here, close to the center, a little off. And to release this, you just need to pull it back a little. But again, try to be gentle. Don't try to force anything, because uh, it's probably held in place by something. And it would be a pretty bad idea to pull. Be easier if you had someone to help you, I guess. Hmm. I remember this was a hard one to get out last time too. I'm not entirely sure why, but it came out after a bit of uh, gentle pushing. Okay, once that is out, uh, you're going to have to sort of weave it through these two metal prongs. First through one, and then push it through the other. And there we go. I believe this cord is either for the speakers or the... Yeah, probably for the speakers, but then there's another one that is for the power button. And that is right here. This one should be a little easier to get out if you had any difficulty with the one before. And you just basically pull Gets pretty annoying sometimes. Okay. That is out now. You should be able to. God 
Here's another one for the touchpad. This one should be very similar to the one we just took out. Uh, and you can see I'm sort of trying to figure this out as I go along. the touchpad that is out. We can finally pull this off. Should be pretty careful because this does uh, hold both your sp oh. touchpad speakers which are right up here and back here and the power button which is right here put this off to the side and now we have uh, the laptop innards but there is one more thing uh, everything that you want to get to usually is behind this so we're gonna have to unscrew this and I don't think it's held in by very many it's just held in by uh, let's see here about say one or two screws okay so I'm going to get this off this one screw right back here the upper uh, right corner of the motherboard it's pretty small careful not to lose anything um, let's see there's also Hmm. I don't see another one, to tell you the truth. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to have to take off now is just the screen power cable, I believe, or uh, uh, cable back here that connects to the USB. Uh, and SD all-in-one slot and to do that you just pull up on the uh, LCD power adapter and this one is just like almost all the other cables we've pulled out and should be able to pull upward this uh, upward this way and up but be very careful because this is where most of the important parts of the computer are. Okay, so here we go. Just want to make sure I'm not pulling on anything. And here it is. You've got your fan right here, the CPU, which is under this main heat sink. And then the second heat sink line leads to the graphics adapter, which is just right here. Uh, if you want to get this out completely, it's going to take a bit more work because the power cable and the uh, battery adapter hold it down. But uh, if you want to find out how to get rid of those, it's just another cable right back here. And it shouldn't be too much trouble. Uh, the heat or the fan is actually just held down by, let's see, three, four screws. Once you unscrew those four, you should be able to pull the fan right out and do any maintenance you'd want on that. And uh, this the CPU, there are a few 
uh, screws held by, I mean screws and springs that uh, hold the heat sink in place over the CPU. But be careful when taking that out because uh, it's actually held in by a certain pressure and also it's held in uh, with uh, CPU, I forgot what it was called, but it um, conducted heat away from the CPU to the heat sink. And I believe the same goes for the GPU, which is held much in the same way. And yeah, that is really all there is to it. This is all there is to it, okay. Okay, this is gonna be fun getting back together. Okay, just reverse all the steps to get it back together. I don't know how much this would help, because I was just as, like, figuring it out as most of you might be, but I hope this helps. And you should probably just watch it, figure out any mistakes I have before you do it yourself, instead of just following me, because I did stuff a little sloppier than I should have. But it shouldn't be much of a problem, because, see, I have it open. I did not break anything. And it all works. I showed you where the fan was, the CPU was, the GPU was, and any maintenance on those that you would like to do shouldn't be too difficult after this point. And hope you enjoyed this. If it helped you, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me. Um, and yeah, that's all I've got. Thanks for watching. That's it. Okay. See ya.